The world's population is growing and as it grows, water supplies are coming under pressure. As long as the urbanization continues, uh, around 60% of, of the people in the world will be concentrated in larger areas within the next decade or so, uh, which means that the nature will have a hard time to treat sewage on its own. Today, only 20% of wastewater worldwide is treated. Not only do we need to deal with it better, we also need to deal with more of it. I think in the neighborhood of 95% of all sewage in Denmark is treated. Uh, if you look at the world in general, uh, about 50% of all sewage is collected, but only 10 to 15% of all sewage in the world is treated. In China, in um, Australia, California, also southern Europe, where water scarcity is a problem, well, that makes sense to start thinking about how do we make sure we have enough clean water, but can we also contain wastewater and cleanse them to a level of purity that we can actually reuse them? And by reusing water, we can also save on fresh water consumption. And I think that's part of the circle, that wastewater we can't just ignore anymore. I think the Danish model is quite unique because the, it's quite evident that the infrastructure of water and wastewater treatment is working well. Denmark is the only country in the world where you pay most for, for water and wastewater discharge, and that's quite a unique system. In Denmark, it's not say it's state subsidized, which means that you are actually aware of water intake and also of what you uh, let out. Um, so I think people are more aware of it due to this economic model. Denmark has a long tradition of developing wastewater technology. The process began with concern about the environment. In the late 70s and early 80s, we began to see that oxygen was missing in the water surrounding and that caused a lot of problems with the animal life uh, in the waters. I think that was what really uh, triggered the process here. Strict legislations kick-started the development of wastewater technology. This has made Denmark a leading player in the world today. All water utilities in Denmark had to invest vastly uh, based on, on that le legislation, meaning that the new technologies were developed and implemented widespread in Denmark and of course in, in, uh, in our utility as well. Keeping the water around us safe and clean also raises the standard of living in cities. When we can swim in the, in the harbour and, and we have cleaned the water in, in the degree that we can do that, then of course other countries are looking at that and see, ha, see what they can do in Copenhagen, they can swim in the harbour. We want that as well. And uh, the mayor from New York said uh, when he heard about that, I want that to happen in New York as well. It's not just about treating wastewater so it can be disposed of in a safe way. In fact, the whole concept of wastewater is outdated. 20 years ago, or even 10 years ago, uh, wastewater is looked, was looked upon as a problem that nobody really wanted to realize. They wanted it pushed away, and a problem also in the sense that the technology of treating the wastewater, cleaning the wastewater before being discharged, was quite energy consuming. Now we want to use the resources we can find in the wastewater. And that's not only the, the resources looking into, for instance, phosphorus, it's also the energy, because there's a lot of heat in um, wastewater. Treating wastewater efficiently also means saving money in the long term. In the first place, uh, the, this, it was a, a matter of reducing the sludge amount. And a byproduct from reducing the sludge uh, was that we were producing a biogas. It is possible by using a f fermentation processes uh, to, uh, to produce biogas in a fairly big amount, and that biomass can, can then be utilized in, in electricity production and heat production. So we are producing uh, nearly all the electricity we need at the treatment plant uh, from the biogas, and uh, we have a surplus of, of heat that we are uh, serving up to approximately 7,000 households with, uh, uh, with heat. Uh, from, from the wastewater treatment plan. Part of the Danish achievement has been to combine centralized treatment with decentralized solutions. Centralized treatment allows for larger scale, more energy efficient work. Decentralized solutions can be more effective for smaller rural populations or for specific industrial projects. We delivered a treatment plant to Carillion, a large international contractor who is in charge of the civil 
constructions to the new Muscat International Airport in Oman. For this construction site, they have employed around 1,400 people, and they are uh, accommodated in a, in a nearby camp. Now, Carillion is enforced to treat the sewage of these many people working for them. And at the same time, they have a large need for fresh water supply for their civil constructions, for casting the concrete. Now, buying a treatment plant uh, from BioCuba, uh, they were able to not just treat the sewage, but treat the sewage to a level where they could actually reuse the treated sewage for their construction work, which enabled them to have a payback period of less than three years. In the future, wastewater becomes a resource, not a burden, according to Danish experts. The water scarcity in cities will lead to development of uh, new technologies. And I think from a wastewater perspective, we tend to, to, to make possible the reuse of treated wastewater as a drinking water source. We will, uh, in, in, uh, in 10, 15 years, be able to have uh, wastewater factories that are producing energy, producing heat, uh, producing fertilizer that can be applied directly to, uh, to farmland. We certainly see that as a, as a, a platform for, for, for new businesses.